taking a live look at the uptown Charlotte skyline tonight. You can see that it is lit up to honor Juneteenth the Juneteenth holiday. It is a historic day marking the end and it is the last remaining date that state slaves found out that they were free 155 years ago. Now, after weeks of protest and reflection, millions around the country and right here in Charlotte came together to celebrate. Tonight, our Elsa Gillis shows us how those around Charlotte marked the significant holiday. Happy Juneteenth! On a beautiful Friday evening, people gathered informally in Freedom Park to celebrate just that. <laughs> Freedom Park, I mean, the name in and of itself, even though we're not collective, you know, because of social distancing and things of that nature, but at the same time, just to look around and see the multitudes of people that showed up, it, mean, it means everything. It feels really good to see you know, our people out here celebrating us because it's important. You know, we celebrate all other holidays. This is a major holiday. For Ashley Brannon, it was important to bring some of the younger members of her family to the celebrations they look forward to each year. Hey. And on the way out here, I asked them if they knew, you know, what we were celebrating today, what it was. And they were just like, you know, the slaves were free. So that's what's happening today, which is partial truth, you know, but I had to break it down to where you know, majority slaves were free. However, the slaves in Texas did not know. So until we all are free, nobody's free. Over in Plaza Midwood, the holiday this year was marked by some somber moments. I can't breathe! Along with happier ones, music, food, dancing, typical of the annual Juneteenth Festival of the Carolinas, started by this man. Is it a significant piece of American history that needs to be celebrated? I started here on Thomas Avenue in the heart of the Plaza Midway 23 years ago. It got so big that I have to move it to Independence Park. Did it there for 10 years and Juneteenth got back now where it started. Happy Juneteenth! Today, the drums are playing and the dancers are dancing. Uh, it's really special to be here for Juneteenth. We met up with historian Dr. Tom Hanchett along Thomas Avenue and spoke with him and everyone else today about the recent focus on the holiday. Juneteenth, if, if you know African American history, you go, well, I always knew about that. But a lot of folks don't know about African American history. This spring, with the murder of George Floyd and, and all of the other things, there has been a crescendo of interest in our history. Better late than never. Once you know better, you do better. And everybody knows now, you know, Black Lives Matter. I am thrilled that everybody is starting to acknowledge and celebrate Juneteenth a.k.a. Freedom Day. It is something that has been going on. We've been celebrating and come on and join in with us. The Juneteenth celebration in Plaza Midwood, though smaller than in years past because of COVID-19, will continue throughout the weekend. They are asking anyone who comes out to remember to social distance and wear a mask. Genevieve. So many beautiful celebrations throughout our city today. Elsa, thank you. Governor Cooper said on Twitter today, it's a reminder that even 155 years after slaves were told they were free, we are still fighting for change. It's critical that we take on these disparities that the black community continues to face. I'm committed to creating real change in our state that provides protection and opportunity for all North Carolinians. And there's a national push to make Juneteenth a federal holiday. Today, a group of Senate Democrats announced they will introduce the Juneteenth National Independence Day Act.